Hey guys, it's Kim. Welcome back to today's video. So today's a really fun, different kind of video for me. I actually was inspired to film this from Jam Beauty 89 aka Jessica Braun here on YouTube. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. I love her content and I saw her make this video and it is like makeup mistakes that I make or like bad makeup habits that I do and I thought it was so fun. So I started writing down in my iPhone notes some of the things that I do that are just like bad makeup habits and I thought this would just be fun and you guys can share yours in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what your bad makeup habits are. We all do them so no shame if you do any of the things that I do too. Um, it's just like a fun video. So if you guys want to find out what my bad guilty makeup habits are, just keep watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not yet. It's going to be the first link down below in my description box. Make sure you check that out. Turn on the notification bell and let's get into the video. Okay, so I'm just reading off my phone because like I said, I wrote these down. So the first one, and I feel like we are all guilty of this, is not washing my makeup brushes. I am so lazy with this and I know that there is so much bacteria and you can get, you know, acne and probably a lot of the acne um, that people do get is probably from brushes, me included, like when a pimple pops up, it's either from a product that I use, like a foundation that made me break out or probably like bacteria from a brush that I didn't wash and I hate to say that but I feel like a lot of you guys can relate. Sometimes you just don't feel like washing your brushes and for me personally it's because I have so many brushes and they have to dry overnight so it's such a task to do to wash them. You need to set aside at least an hour for me at least to wash the brushes so it's time consuming waiting for them to dry especially because I'm always filming a tutorial I like need my brushes and I can't wait for all my eye brushes to dry especially if I need to film something so I'm just like oh, I'll use it again and I think the face brushes probably concern me a little bit more just because of the whole like bacteria acne thing eye brushes I don't get too concerned about the time when I absolutely wash my brushes right away is after I do makeup on someone else I'm not like this full-fledged makeup artist. I'm not doing makeup every single weekend, but I do sometimes do people's makeup. When I do, guaranteed I always wash my brushes, sanitize them, make sure they are clean. But on myself, I just get really lazy with it because it's so time-consuming and sometimes I just can't be bothered. Let me know if you guys are guilty of that too. I will say though, one thing that I do good, I am so good at washing my sponges before I use that. But before I do my face makeup, for some reason, I always wash my sponge that I'm about to use. There's something about a dirty sponge that just drives me crazy and it has to be clean. You know what I think it is? I think it's because before you use a sponge, you have to wet it, which automatically means I'm at the sink, which means my brush soap that I use is right there. So it kind of gets me in the mood to clean it because I'm already gonna be putting it underwater anyway. So it's like, I'm already there, may as well make the extra step to clean the sponge. It takes like two seconds. So. Okay, so this is one that I saw in the comments of Jessica's video and I am pretty guilty of this too. It is blowing on my makeup brushes when there's excess like eyeshadow or powder on them and you're not supposed to do that because the bacteria from your mouth will then get on the brush and then you're putting it on your face. So I definitely do that. I wouldn't do that if I was doing makeup on someone else because I just think that's it's really bad but I guess when you're doing your own makeup it's like oh whatever I could blow on it I will say most of the time I do tap it off like on you know something a surface or my hand or whatever but sometimes I do blow on the brush and I'm like oh gosh you kind of like cringe when you do it like because I know you're not supposed to it's a bad habit but I don't know sometimes in the heat of the moment it just happens and you blow on your brush and yeah I mean listen I I'm guilty of that <laughs> Okay, another bad habit I have is not putting on moisturizer before I put on foundation and also not putting primer on before foundation or sometimes I'll put primer on and not moisturizer. Like I'll skip a step just out of sheer one laziness or two just being forgetful. I always feel so bad when I forget to put one or the other on because I know there's like the process, you're supposed to do moisturizer, then your primer, but sometimes I don't like putting cream on my face and I know it sounds weird I just hate the feeling sometimes of putting moisturizer on it just like kind of I don't know the feeling of it like kind of freaks me out I don't like having like a wet creamy face I don't know is anyone else the same way as me like 
I don't know, like primer I'm okay with. It's just the wet coldness of the moisturizer sometimes like bothers me. So sometimes I just go straight to primer and I forget to moisturize and I know that's so bad. And I am oily so I guess that's why I'm like, oh, I don't need it. But I know when you're oily, you're really supposed to moisturize or else your skin will start to like produce more oil. So that is something that I am guilty of. What I do to kind of counteract that is I do keep my moisturizer right out in front of me, like on my desk where I get ready. Just so I'm like, all right, let me grab it and put it on. Then do my primer. So yeah, I'm, I'm guilty of that one. The next one is a funny. I am guilty of having dirty eyeshadow palettes. So... I filmed an eyeshadow declutter uh, maybe like a year ago and I got a lot of comments and I was actually surprised from people like, oh my gosh, her palettes are so dirty, ew, that's disgusting. And then a lot of people were like, no, I like that they're dirty. It shows that she actually uses them. And I was like, thank you. Like I do use my eyeshadow palettes. They are well loved. And I don't know, I guess it's something that doesn't really bother me, like that they're dirty. Like they're not dirty in the sense of like dirt. It's just that there's like powder on them from the shadows that kick up you know it's not that I actually I don't know and you know like those types of um palettes not something like this but that more matte type of texture like a Lorac Pro palette those get dirty very easily it's just like that matte texture the powder kind of sticks to it and when you use it it kind of gets everywhere so I mean listen I have dirty eyeshadow palettes you can go watch my eyeshadow palette collection if you guys want to it's just because they're well loved and I use them a ton and you know that's the way it is I mean I don't really spend my time cleaning off my eyeshadow palettes. I'd rather take that time to, going back to my first point, cleaning my brushes because my eyeshadow palettes, I don't know. I just don't see anything wrong with them having eyeshadow powder on them. That's what they're there for. It's going to kick up dust and the cover of it. If you use it a lot, it's going to be dirty and scratched, especially like those wet and wild palettes. Like mine are a mess, so I don't know. Does anyone else have dirty eyeshadow palettes besides me? That's my take on <laughs> it. Next one, I'm guilty of using expired old makeup. And that comes with being a makeup collector slash hoarder. I have, you know, old eyeshadow palettes. For example, my Urban Decay Naked palettes. I, okay, they're old, but I can't see myself throwing it away and buying a new one for $50. I just can't. So, I don't know, like I'd rather just spray it down with some alcohol before I use it. I don't know if that's really gonna help too much, but to sanitize it, I've never had a problem with it before. I've never had any sort of like eye infection, thank God, with that type of thing, but I do use makeup that's probably expired, foundations. I know are only supposed to be like a year, but I definitely have foundations in my collection that are year old. The one that does kind of worry me is mascaras, and I am pretty good at going through my mascaras and throwing away old ones, especially drugstore, because that's cheap. It's not an expensive eyeshadow palette. Um, for three bucks, an Essence mascara, I can toss it and get a new one. Um, but I do definitely have to get better about throwing out things that are older, but when they're expensive, it's really hard to do, so yeah using old expired makeup this next one i am guilty of picking up out picking out a foundation that is too dark for my skin tone i cannot tell you guys how many times i have been orange there was like a time i used a foundation that was too dark for me maybe like a year and a half gone camera and people were like oh my gosh you look orange and i was like so mortified because i looked back and i really did look orange listen it happens sometimes it is so hard for me to pick out a correct foundation shade because my neck my face are different colors it's hard to tell sometimes with the bottle and then sometimes it's too pink but I don't know sometimes um, I wear the wrong foundation shade I feel like everyone's guilty of that especially when you go outside and you see yourself in the sunlight it's really like whoa you can tell that it's too dark um, also like I've chosen colors that are too light and I don't know, I guess being too dark is worse because you really see the color differentiation. It looks bad. When it's too light, you can put on blush, you can put on bronzer and really warm it up around your neck and your face. So I guess being like two shades too dark is worse than having something that's too light. But yeah, I've, I've been there before. I've worn the wrong foundation shade. It's still always a struggle. It's definitely something that I struggle with and I'm trying to get better at picking the right foundation shade. Especially hard with 
drugstore foundations because it's not like you can test it you can't go to a window and you know see what the color looks like because there's not testers really with drugstore foundations which is something i'm hoping maybe in the future they'll put out some samples okay this next one this is actually my last one is having raccoon under eyes so this goes both ways this is the dark raccoon when you have black smeared underneath your eyes which happens to me quite often um when i'm here filming it doesn't really happen because i can look in the mirror i can wipe it away it always happens when i'm out somewhere and i go in the bathroom and i'm like oh my gosh i have all this black probably from like mascara that falls down on my face and flakes and i'm like oh so embarrassing like that actually happened to me the other day i went to the bathroom and i had all this black and i was like oh my gosh like it's so embarrassing so that always happens to me and the reverse is when you have when it's too white underneath if you use a powder that has flashback and you see a picture and you see that white under eye that is like also embarrassing and it's like oh gosh i like cringe when i see that so i try and do like a flash test with my foundations and concealers just to make sure beforehand that's a good tip do a flash test before you go to an event and make sure you don't have reverse raccoon where it's too white underneath your eyes because that might save you if someone is taking pictures especially like at a wedding so that's my little tip yeah those are all of my guilty makeup things that i do bad makeup habits this video was so much fun to film i want to do more chatty videos like this and it's just fun to like spill out your guilty makeup things that you do i mean it's fun to just you know let it all air out and let me know if you guys have any similar guilty makeup habits to me Comment down below. I would love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.